Hey, yo! What are you doing here? I'm a tourist, got it? <laughs> Thanks for watching my back. The jewels are over there. Wait! Those jewels are no business of yours. Who's this? Somebody looking for trouble. We can go home now, Jiva. those evil spirits? Free of them? Yes, but not of their toys. Not yet. This was mine. I used to play with this all the time. But you're all grown up, Leo. You have to learn to let go of your old toys. You're joking, right? My space robot still works. Check out his battle cry. Devastating rage. Ah, uh, well, I guess my robot got a little rusty. But this baby still runs like a dream. Uh, but this missile... Leo, throughout your life, there will always be times when you'll need to leave your past behind you. Mm. Leo! Uh, okay, I'm throwing everything away, Mom. I'm trying to leave my past behind, but it just won't let go of me. Huh? What's this? This isn't one of my old school notebooks. Flynn. Hey, that's my grandpa's name. This diary looks promising. My grandpa's whole life story is in here. It's everything I've ever wanted to know about his work as an archaeologist. Huh? Ancient Egypt was always my great passion, a love that had been instilled in me long ago. My father would tell me stories about the ancient past. One story was almost too incredible. He told me that the blood of pharaohs ran through our family. And it was in that very museum that I first set eyes on the Bracelet of Ra. That bracelet sent out a magnetic energy I had never felt before. I felt like that bracelet belonged to me. Leo! Huh? I'm waiting for you to sort through these old toys, Leo. Mom, can I ask you something? Sure. Why don't you ever talk about what happened to Grandpa? Huh? 
Your grandpa, my father, uh, was a famous archaeologist. People all over the world admired his work. He seemed to be a happy man, but one day... What happened? He left for the museum, like he did every day, and it was the last time I ever saw him. We searched for him everywhere, but it was all in vain. I eventually lost hope of ever being held in his arms again. <sighs> Don't forget your toys, Leo. If my grandpa went missing, maybe I know where to look for him. And maybe I found a way to deal with my toys without throwing any of them out. Sometimes I really am a genius. What better place to store my old things? There's bound to be an empty corner somewhere in these pyramids. Huh? Oh, come on. Again? What a drag. Hey, my first basketball. I can't lose that. It stopped. Finally. What kind of animal are you? Huh? Hey, that's mine. You can't eat that. Get back here, you disgusting scaly basketball gobbler. You want to play, huh? All right. Let's go on a little lizard hunt. I love animals. I really do. All of them. But for you, I'd make an exception, you ugly freak. Give me my ball back. If you think I'm going to give up, you're wrong, Dinky Dino. Now you're trapped. You tried, little lizard, but you didn't stand a chance against mighty Leo. Like they say, it's not how you win the game. Oh, oh. It's how you make a fool out of your opponent. Luckily, no one saw this. Huh? Huh? Wakey, wakey, Pharaoh. Uh, how are you, child? Uh, what happened, Kefir? A patrol found you in the desert. What were you doing out there? I was chasing a giant lizard that had swallowed my basketball. I just don't understand, terrestrials. I presume this is yours? I, uh... Don't worry, Horace. Have you got any sticky tape in a Jixus? Sticky tape? What's that? You can make pyramids fly, but you don't know what sticky tape is? <sighs> hmm? Think mummy bandage, but really sticky. I just don't get these Ajixus people. This is why I'm here. Who attacked you? I couldn't even describe it if I wanted to. Something like a ghost, a shadow. A shadow? Should I be worried? I'll explain as we go. They're known as the Shadows. They roam no man's land. Pretty populated place, this no man's land. What are those shadows? No one can say that they really know them, so to speak. The shadows are solitary figures who walk without stopping. They have creatures that accompany them on their journeys, following in their footsteps. They live hidden from sight. Many even doubt their very existence. One of those things attacked me. Perhaps it thought you meant to harm its animals. Traitor! Hey! Isn't this supposed to be no man's land? Where do you think you're going, traitor? Why is he chasing that mummy? He's a deserter. This happens often in Exiton's army. Yeah, I guess being a mummy isn't the ultimate career move. Break a sweat, and when I sweat, I get nasty. Huh? Where did this beast come from? Ugly lizard, I'll teach you not to drool all over my toys. It's her, the basketball thief. 
die, beast! Very well. Let's do this properly. Now I mean business. Kefir, Horus, it's up to us. Power of Egyxus. Power of Egyxus. Power of Egyxus! sound so cool when they say stuff. Wish I could. I gotta have some cool names for my moves. I could just make them up, right? Leo's Blows! It's my first try, okay? Hey, wait! Why are you running away? So I'm not mega cool like the others. But some things can really hurt a guy's self-esteem. What's gotten into you? I was trying to save you from Hatanor. Escaping from the Dark Pyramid was a big mistake. See, with a little effort, we might actually have a conversation. But I'll make up for it. I'll capture the last pharaoh and bring him to Exiton. You know, on second thought, you're not that much fun to talk to. <laughs> Don't do it. You again. Don't go near those pools. They're dangerous. <gasps> no. Let it go, Leo. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'll tell you, Leo. It's only fair that you should know. Your voice. It sounds familiar. Yes, Leo. <sighs> you're... you're... I'm your grandfather. Flynn. Devastating way. Quickly, let's go. Hey, where are the others? I think I know. It's not possible. You should be much older. I was, until I bathed in one of those pools. I've nicknamed them the Springs of Life. You need to explain a whole load of stuff to me. Yes, I will. Don't worry. Huh? Huh? I had dedicated my entire life to the study of ancient Egypt. But the Bracelet of Ra changed my life. Just like what happened to you, I believe. Didn't you make me find the bracelet? No. The bracelet found you. One night, I found myself standing before an obsidian sarcophagus that I had never noticed before. An irresistible force beckoned me to open the lid. I was terrified of drowning, but instead... That sarcophagus was a passageway between the two worlds. One of the secret passages created by Ra. A portal for emergencies. Here, I could live everything I'd only ever read or dreamt about. And so, you decided to never return to Earth. It was the life I'd always dreamt of. My destiny. 
And it has now become yours. Huh? huh? Someone's at the pools. It's probably Kefir looking for me. Your desertion is a grave offense, soldier. I do not tolerate deserters. But your discovery may have given you a second chance. The fountain of youth is beneath us, Exiton. You have to believe me. You too could return to that youthful and vigorous dark pharaoh that you once were. That I will do. I'll deal with you later. But you said I would have a second chance. <laughs> What do you think of my idea, Grandpa? Going to the city? I don't know. I'm used to my solitary life now. Thank you for the offer, but I'll have to think about it. An esteemed scholar such as yourself deserves an important position in my court. Enough with roaming the desert, Grandpa. You'd live a calm, comfortable life. Stand huh? aside, Kefir. The Fountain of Youth is mine. Speaking of calm... This land has nothing to do with you, Exiton. Since you put it that way, there's only one way to resolve this. Power of Ejexus! Power of Ejexus! Power of Ejexus! No one uses their sword on my grandson. Two brothers fist fighting. Look at them. Just like Toby and Juliet. But with more lightning, obviously. Return to youth will render me invincible. Ever hear of growing old gracefully? Stand aside, child. As you wish. Who are you? Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> There are too many things down there that must never fall into Exiton's hands. Eternal youth could become a dangerous temptation. The portal back to the museum is in my refuge. I've used it several times to make after-hours visits. But now this too must come to an end. But without the portal, you'll never be able to return home. Your grandfather is right. It's too risky. I understand. Together? Together. Will I see you again, Grandpa? Who's to say? In Egyxis, anything is possible. Hmm. Don't forget me, Grandpa. I've never forgotten about you. <sighs> Okay, it's time to return home. Awesome job, Leo. You've gotten rid of all your old things. I kept one thing, Mom. The most precious thing of all. <laughs>